Hey everybody, it's Eileen with KidFunIdeas.com and today I'm bringing you another fun game. Today we're making paper play, <laughs> paper play catch game. And it's um, a really fun, easy game and you can find the directions um, in the spring craft section at KidFunIdeas.com. And what you'll need for this craft is a lightweight ball. I'm using a wiffle ball, but you could use um, a lightweight plastic ball, um, a paper plate, some duct tape, a stapler, some scissors, and some crayons or markers to decorate your uh, paint with, uh, your plate with. Anyway, round up your stuff and I'll meet you right back here. Also forgot one of the most important things for this craft. You'll need um, Velcro. Um, and there's two sides to Velcro. There's a, a rough, catchy side and there's a smooth, fuzzy side. So what you want to do is um, first decorate your plate however you want to do it. This one has crayons. I did uh, paint with this one. And then uh, depending on the size of your plate, you're going to cut two strips of your Velcro and you're going to lay it across your plate like this. And you're going to staple it into the center all along um, the side. So staple it in the middle once and then on each little edge. And that will give you enough hold so that when the ball hits your plate, um, the Velcro on the plate will stay put. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is um, make a handle for your for your plate. And to do that, I just took a strip of duct tape like this. And then I folded it in half so that it made um, a really strong strip like this okay then you're going to put it on the back of your plate and staple that and the size of how how much ribbing you um, duct tape you need depends on how big your hand is that's going on the back so if you have a little tiny hand you're going to want to staple that smaller for a little hand and bigger for um, bigger hands all right so once you have that done the next thing to work on after you do two of them because you're going to want to have two for you and a buddy is to work on the ball. So for the ball, you're going to want the fuzzy side. And you want the fuzzy side for the ball because if you miss and you hit your buddy with the ball, you don't want the, the scratchy side to hit your, your friend. Um, so I'm using this, um, this wiffle ball. And what I did was I took a straw, and you'll notice the wiffle ball has holes all in it. And I took the fuzzy strip, and I laid it... <clears throat> along this, um, there's my dog, I did on the straw. I'm going to make a sewing needle of, of sorts with this. So I'm just going to grab that and go around until I have it attached like that. And then through the holes of the ball, I'm just going to thread the Velcro through and then just keep wrapping it around. And when you wrap it around, you're just gonna take a strip of tape and then tape, um, let's try that again. Tape that in place right along the edge. Just like that. Okay. Now you can, um, and you just keep going, um, wrapping it until you have enough of it uh, wrapped around here so that there's a lot of surfaces that will catch on your, on your plate. Now, if you have one of these um, tinier balls, you can do the same sort of thing. You might have to take your Velcro, if it's um, real wide like this, and cut it in half. And you're just going to tape it right across on here. And then that's it. So we're just going to wrap it around like that. Piece of tape. Like that. Until you, and then you take another strip and go... You know the opposite way and tape that one on until you have something that looks like that and that's it now to play the game what you want to do is stand about five depends on you know how, how young your kids are five to eight feet apart and you put the the plate you put your hand through the little um, strap we made and then you take turns tossing it um, to each other and seeing how many times you can catch the ball it's a real fun, really inexpensive way to, to have some fun with paper plates. All right, till next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.